Today we're going to go over a pretty popular subject, which is battery testing. I do have an old video, and I will put it in the link below, which outlines using a multimeter, but it's not a true value. You can only test if the battery is good as far as voltage, not true cold cranking amps. It will give you kind of an idea, but it's not precise. So today I wanted to have a look at this product, which is the Top Don RT Battery 101. This is a battery tester analyzer, which will give you a lot more detail than like a multimeter would. And as you can see, this unit is very small. You can easily put it in your glove box. So if you have battery issues or worried about battery issues, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have one of these. And being that it is cheaper than an entry level digital multimeter, this is kind of a must have, especially if you're worried about battery issues. And to perform this test, we're gonna actually test this on my personal vehicle. This is a Honda battery. 500 cold cranking amps. It's about four years old. Actually, it's four years old on the nose. And as you can see at the top here are the cables. They are about three foot in length. And obviously your red goes to your positive, your black goes to your negative. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up. Negative first. Hook it to our positive. And the unit will come on. This screen, you would just hit OK. You can see there's not a whole lot of buttons on this. You got OK up and down in the back. We want English, so we'll hit OK. Now we're testing it in the vehicle. Now if this battery was out of the vehicle, you can tap down. But we're going to test it in the vehicle. Now you can select before charge, after charge, either or. We have not charged this, but it shouldn't need charge. We'll go after charge. This is the type of battery. So typically it's going to be a regular flooded, which is what most cars are. EFB, gel, AGM spiral, flat plate. So we're going to go with regular flooded. Click OK. CCA. So you can do CCA or CA, BCI, MCA, SAE, GB. I'm not sure exactly what all these acronyms stand for, but we're going to go with CCA because we know that number is 500. Go up and down if you'd like. 500, now it will test the battery. And here are the readings. SOH, which is state of health, is 83%. SOC, state of charge, is 91%. We got 12.54 volts, 490 amps versus our 500. Internal resistance, 6.56. says good battery. Now, if there were a bad battery, it would say bad battery. There'd be recharge, there's different acronyms. So we're gonna hit OK. Now cranking test, it wants us to start the engine. Now we're gonna start the engine. So I'm gonna put this in a safe area so it doesn't fall down in the bay, bay and we'll be right back. Now we've started the vehicle. Hopefully you can hear me. So, Cranking time is normal. The time 369 milliseconds. Cranking is normal at 10.2 volts. Hit OK. Charging test. Or increase rev. Here we go, charging is normal, loaded, 14.16 volts, not loaded, 14.4, ripple is normal, click OK, and I think that is all we have, there you go. So all in all, my battery is good, charging is normal, loaded, voltage is good, non-loaded voltage is good. Now we're going to go ahead and test it out of the vehicle. I'm not going to take it out of my car, but we're going to disconnect it and see what those readings are with that. We are back. Now we've reconnected the tester. We want English. We're going to go out of the vehicle. We'll select, uh, we'll just do before charge. It's a regular battery. 500 cold cranking amps. And let's test. So pretty much the same. State of health went down 77%. State of charge is 98%. Of course, we just had the battery on, or the car running rather. 12.74 volts, 
465 amp, rated at 500, good battery. Click OK. And this is all the readings we're going to have out of the vehicle because we can't test cold cranking amps. So if you had a battery sitting in your garage, you wanted to check it out, see the state of health and what kind of amperage and voltage you're getting, this is a quick and easy way to do it. If you want to hit the back button, do so, it takes you to the beginning. Here's your languages, English, Dutch, so there you go. Not a whole lot of controls on it, which makes it really nice, there's not a whole lot of confusion. And it's awesome. Not something you'll use every day, but if you buy used vehicles or if you just want to be conscientious of the health of your battery, this is pretty awesome. Here's the unit in the back. It's got some nice rubber gripping here on the sides. On the bottom, there is a place for a micro USB. Does not include any kind of cabling, so we'll look at the manual here momentarily, see if it mentions that. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for, maybe to download data to your computer. Here's the manual. So it's just a quick start guide, which kind of goes over everything we've already done. Type of battery, that kind of thing. It's just a quick, quick reference. It does not mention anything with the USB cable. So I'm not sure exactly what that's for, but this will tell you if you have a bad battery, it gives you kind of different scenarios. As mentioned, the price is perfect. It's about half the cost of a, the average battery, and it is uh, about the same cost as an entry-level digital multimeter. Get these on Amazon right now. I haven't checked out the reviews, but I imagine they're all pretty good. There's not a whole lot of bad to say about this. Maybe the charging cable wouldn't be long enough at three feet, uh, so you cannot view it in the car, but you don't really need to. You can do most of the functions outside of the car aside from the, the cold cranking, which you can just lay it on its side, go start it, and it'll tell you what the reading is. There's no reason to uh, screen capture or anything like that. It's already there. Obviously, I'm really pleased with it. I was kind of wondering about this battery just because it is four years old. It does have a 100-month warranty, but kind of had my doubts, and I checked it with the multimeter, and it was fine. Like I said, I will have a link in the description of me checking a battery, not this one, with the multimeter to kind of give you an idea, but it's not true cold cranking amps or anything like that. It just shows you voltage. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. I will have links to this as well as some other tools I use on my channel. Feel free to post any questions or comments. And as always, thanks for watching.